Iowa. Iowa's Attorney General Brenna Byrd announced plans to improve services for victims of sexual assault. It comes after an extensive year and a half long audit into the Victim Assistance Program, which helps take care of victims after a crime. Before we get into the changes, let's take a quick look at how we got here. In April of last year, Byrd's office paused payments for emergency contraception for victims of sexual assault. Federal regulation and state law requires Iowa to pay many expenses of victims who seek medical help. According to Byrd's press secretary in 2023, Byrd put those payments on pause as part of a review to evaluate if the expense is a quote appropriate use of public funds. One of the most notable results from this audit is Byrd's office will continue payments to victims for emergency contraceptives as well as some other services like STI testing. The state will not, however, pay for abortions for victims. Now let's dive into the report. It details the problems the audit found and changes stemming from them. In the report, Bird says, quote, victims were not a priority prior to her taking office. It found problems with record keeping, notification systems, training protocols, and compensation for nurses. Bird's office says it has already implemented several changes. Those include giving prosecutors the ability to track sexual assault evidence collection kits, expanding victim assistance staff training and improving customer service by addressing rude employees. A bird released a statement on the report today. She said in part, quote, we not only identified the problems within the victim services system, but we created solutions to more effectively serve victims.